First trip across for Mitchell Moles. Second quick at 21.145 and a beautiful line into turn number one and two. Oh, a little yep. bit too much to the wall. See if he's able to come away with that one. He's off by about a tenth of a second from the top spot of Chase Dietz. Second lap for the number 11 car. Better Burke goes 12th quick on the field at 22.3 and 8. Here comes Mitchell Moles. Quick time, 20.899 into the wall. Oh, my. 20.899 and punched it into the wall. Set a new track record and heavy damage on the 97 car. Those of you watching on Flow, there you see, man, he's trying to get it to stop and locks it up, and then the momentum was just too much, and he takes Hans Lien's car, Hans Lien's car to turn number one. There it is again. Those of you watching on home, and he's just skating right now. Yep. That's the worst kind of hit yep. down there in the corner. He had it locked up. You can see the skid marks out across the racetrack getting into turn number one, and he sat there and watched that wall keep uh, right. well, was looming large. To say the least. Yep. He had a Jethro Toll moment there. He was skating away. Irregardless of what happened right there, still a 20.899 and a new track record. Drake, what do you see? Well, Chet, right now from what I can see, it looks like it's just all bolt-on parts. Right front shock, uh, both radius rods on the right front pretty damaged. Actually, the right rear radius rod is bent and wedged into the racetrack. On the left side, it looks like everything on the left rear is taken out. Shock, birdcage, whatnot. But I don't see any frame damage, so if this is indeed all bolt-on parts, we could see Mitchell Moles make it out for the feature event. Well, with that, our quick qualifier here tonight, Mitchell Moles and a new track record of 20.899. We'll send it down with Christy. An absolutely blistering pace there for the 97 of Mitchell Moles, your Honest Abe Roofing Fast Qualifier. Another qualifier tonight who pulls off a quick time and has never seen Port Royal Speedway before Mitchell first and foremost. What was the series of events that led to that incident after the checker flag? Yeah, I just, I'd never been here before. And I, I mean, I, I kind of know the walls deal. You just kind of run it around. I kind of watch all the races here and you just run it around on the wall. So I just, uh, we were a little free there and I, Got on the fence a little bit in practice. So I just told those guys keep tightening it up, and we'll just we'll just get up there and make some speed. Uh, I think the flag stand just really late and down the straightaway, and you just if you want to get every last bit, you got to go down in there. I probably should just went for another lap on the fence, and it probably would have slowed it down. But uh, hopefully, I got some uh, good guys back there. Hopefully, um, we can get this thing fixed and get back out there. Only your second Silver Crown start here at Port Royal Speedway. Are we still looking for that line between really fast and pushing the envelope? Absolutely. I think I. I think if you run the top here later in the feature, it'll slow down a little bit. But right now, like you're just, it's such a fast pace. Everybody's trying to run as hard as they can. Where like in the feature, I feel like people race, race the cars around you and the pace will slow down a little bit. And I think we'll be okay. Uh, first, first in this, second in the sprint car ain't bad, but uh, just got to keep clicking away and hope we can get one done tonight. An incredible effort there for Mitchell Moles and a really competitive field, but no contest there for your Honest Abe Roofing Fast Qualifier tonight.